how do you make a boring delay effect more exciting to end music like this. So first, add an analog delay on the channel that has your audio file on it and increase its wet signal. Click on the file in the timeline to nest it. The only reason to nest it is to increase the length of it. Call it whatever you like. Then press the new item button in the project panel, select black video and click OK. Then go back to that nested sequence and drag the black video into it. And whilst you're there, just increase the length of it. And now back to the main sequence to increase the length of the nested sequence. Then I'll play the file. As you heard, that sounded quite rubbish. Nothing really that exciting. So let's make it more exciting in two more simple steps. And that's coming up now. The first step is to know the BPM or beats per minute of the music file you're working on by tapping to the beat of the music. And you can do that using this site. I'll add this link below. The BPM of my music file is 86, so I'll take note of that. By the way, that file underneath my music file is an audio click track that I made earlier recorded at 86 beats per minute. So it just kind of shows me if my delay is in sync or out of sync. I'll show you this later. The second step is to find the exact delay time in milliseconds to add into the delay plugin. And you can get this by going here and adding in the BPM. Adding the BPM will show you different rhythmic delays and the delay time which you add in to the delay plugin. So if I choose a half note at 1395 milliseconds, add this into the plugin and play the file, you can hear the delay in sync to the BPM. The click will confirm this. I'll now choose an eighth note at 349 milliseconds, go through the same steps as before and play the file. You can hear how the rhythm changed. It's a much quicker delay time. You can now do all the stuff that you would do with a delay, like increasing its feedback for an even more dramatic ending. If you liked what you just saw, give it a thumbs up. If you loved what you saw, give it a double thumbs up and leave your comments down below with any questions related to audio and I'll get back to you. And subscribe to my channel if you really want to. I'll see you soon.